Well, chit chat, Kit Kats. Well, this morning I'm headed out over to the VA. It's a day for running all the blood tests, so um, I'm looking forward to getting those back and seeing what the results are when it comes to um, my thyroid. So that's what they're testing today. Now, I don't have my follow-up appointment with my doctor for this until June. Yeah, they pushed it way back till June. I was supposed to go in the 22nd, but apparently my doctor's got some sort of a meeting or something, so they rescheduled me and pushed it way back till June. But I can look up the results of the uh, tests myself when they come back. So um, I will be looking forward to those and then I can adjust my medication. Now, as you know, I went to the doctor and I did get him to write me a prescription for the armor, but now I haven't taken it yet because I want to see what my test results come out from what I've been taking, which is the thyrostin with the um, synthetic. So I want to get those tests back first, and then um, I'll go on the armor and see what the difference is between the two of them. Now, of course, this morning I'm dying because I've got to go in with, um, you know, to, to do the testing um, with fasting. So I've had nothing this morning, no water, haven't taken my medicines, nothing. <laughs> I'm dying of thirst here. Uh, so want to go in there and get the testing done so I can get back and have my coffee and feel human again and get ready for the day. Anyway, uh, you know, looking forward to another another day, another day. Now, one thing that I'm really, yeah, I just found out, of course, I talked about this yesterday, that Friday and Saturday is the Los Angeles Drag Queen, the RuPaul Drag Con. I would love to go with that. I told my daughter, you know, I said, ah, I wish I were going to L.A. They're having the drag con. And she says, ah, we'll have to do that together next year. <laughs> so we're already planning next year we'll go to the drag con together. <laughs> so that'll be fun. So I'll have somebody come out and watch the, you know, watch my two little monkeys here so that I can go ahead and go uh, to enjoy the drag con. I think it's just going to be so much fun to see all the costuming and all the drag queens and all their finery and just enjoy that uh, day out with my daughter. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to that. Now this weekend she's going to, uh, her, her honey, their band is playing at some big venue and there's tons and tons of bands playing. And so she's going to that and enjoying that this weekend. Um, yeah, it's always nice when she can go see her hubby play, you know, um, with his band. So I'm just really glad because their lead singer, um, for those that don't know my daughter's husband has the band Stabbing Westward, and uh, their lead singer had cancer of the throat, but he's uh, on the mend, thank goodness. Uh, they, they weren't sure if they were going to be able to tour this year or not because of the cancer, but uh, apparently it must be in remission because they're out there um, doing their tours again. So. Uh, good luck with that. Now, usually, you know, the music they type of 
they, they do, it's not my type of music, but they did have their one hit, big hit single, um, I Cannot Save You, you know, uh, which I do really like that song, okay? That song is great, uh, but I'm looking forward to, you know, getting all my doctor's appointments done so I can go up and spend some time with them. They've been asking me, oh, come up and, you know, we have an extra room for you. You can come up and stay. Now, I don't know how that's going to work out because she's a cat person and they have a kitty cat. <laughs> and I have Max and Maymay, okay? So, uh, now, I think Maymay is fine with cats. She, when we went to the vet, she was very interested in the kitty cat. Um, she didn't seem like she was going to be aggressive at all. But, you know, when I go up there, I will take the van. And, uh, you know, so um, I do have that. But uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. They've been asking me to come up and spend time with them. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, I, I am so happy with my son-in-law. He is just, he is the sweetest guy. I am so happy my daughter waited to get married. She found the right person. They are so cute together. Uh, so just wishing them a lot of happiness. And so I'm looking forward to spending some time with them, seeing their new home up there. And uh, so that will be, um, I'm looking forward to that. But first, I've got to finish up all my crazy doctor's appointments, et cetera, make sure my medication's good. But I think my medication is going well for the thyroid. Um, I'm not losing my hair. There's just something you can happen with your thyroid. Medication is wrong. You can start losing your hair. You can have all sorts of problems, but I seem to just be going quite fine. Although I do take a lot of naps during the day, but I think it's just because I've been so stuck in the house and um, with so many appointments, I haven't really been able to go out and do the things I usually do. So I think that's where that's at. But I think that actually, you know, I was able to get up and like I said, I cleaned out all the cupboards, I cleaned out the fridge, I did all that in the middle of the night. So it must be working somewhere because I knew would never have the energy to do that. <laughs> so something's working somewhere. So I'm I'm quite happy with it. That was one thing I was a little worried about because I've heard so many people saying they were having so much trouble adjusting their thyroid medication. Okay, um, so it, it seems that what I'm doing is working. Now, the proof will be in the blood tests that I'm doing today. So we'll see uh, what that thyroid panel looks like. Um, so anyway, on that note, I'm going to close this out now so that I can take off and uh, get over there and get that out of the way so that I can start my day and um, get, back, get back and have my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I am such a coffee hound. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm off to do that this morning. Oh my goodness, uh, yeah. I just thought, got up today and thought, oh, it's a Southwest day. It's about time. I haven't done the Southwest stuff for a while. So yeah, put on my Southwestern stuff. And I do like my hat. I, I decorated this. I did this, what I've had it now, what is it, a year, two years, something like that that I got the hat and, and I, okay, I did all this stuff on it, did all the decorations and everything. So I like my sparkly mud man on the front of my hat. <laughs> you know me, whatever I have, I have to decorate it. I can't just leave it plain, yeah. So anyway, that that's what I did to my hat. Now it was a bit nerve wracking because 
these are not cheap when you buy the real the real deal um i keep forgetting what it's called but uh the the top of the line hats they're very expensive to have made so you know to get out there and start painting on it was a bit um um well, let's just say it, it was a bit nerve wracking cause, uh, but I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I, I do like it. So you can see all the decorations that I did on it. I did the decorations basically from, um, from what you find the hieroglyph type things, the, the petroglyphs, hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs are Egypt, petroglyphs, <laughs> the petroglyphs taken from Native American petroglyphs that are found all around the Southwest. So that's what I took for decorating, for decorating it. This is, it was my Bronco Sioux custom hats. And this is a, uh, trying to see, 100 beaver, oh, beaver, that's it, that's it. They're beaver hats made out of beaver fur. So, yeah, it's a genuine beaver hat. <laughs> Let me know what you think of it. <laughs> I did have fun decorating it. You know, I do all my hats. Here's my other one that I did. Just a plain little straw hat that I decorated, did the artwork on. So, just fun, you know. I always like to decorate my things. Um, so I did that one, and then I have another one over here that I had done. Same thing, the petroglyphs that I painted on the other hat as well. And then I have another one in my card that I painted a night scene on, which I also like a lot. It's another Western, uh, Southwestern style that I painted, but that one has got mountains, a night scene with, um, with cactus, and uh, it's got um, the lightning, lightning and cactus, a night scene that I did. So that's my Southwestern stuff. And of course, I've been collecting turquoise and stuff uh, turquoise for quite some time so I have quite a bit of southwestern jewelry turquoise and things you know I have my jade collection then I have my turquoise collection and um, these are things I've picked up for many 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 years um, I started collecting jewelry stuff in the 70s okay so uh, a lot of years. <laughs> if I found a really good deal on it, then I would go ahead and purchase it and keep it, you know, keep it back. So anyway, that's what's going on here today with my me and my gravelly voice here this morning. Again, it just feels so weird to have your voice that's lowered like um, three, four steps from your normal voice. And as far as singing, yeah, no, every day <clears throat> I'll try to do a note, nothing, nothing is coming out. <laughs> I can't scream, I can't sing, um, so we'll, we'll see. Anyway, continuing forward. On that note, I'm going to leave this here so I can head out the door, get my tests done, and get back, see what's on the net. Uh, if there's something you want to see read on, please let me know, and I'll take it under advisement. I can't guarantee I will read on everything, but uh, usually I do do the readings on those. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online.